Have you ever wondered if you can get a good strength training workout at home without equipment? Well, you can. Want to find out how? Stay tuned to Body and Spirit. Dick Nunez, co-owner of Fit and 15 Personal Training Systems. Welcome to Body and Spirit. Today we're going to have a little different show. We're going to be focusing on strength training. We cover so many topics on this show and we do all sorts of workouts, including ones that you can just do in a chair. But this one isn't going to be that way. It's actually going to be pretty intense. And so we had to find somebody just right for it. And we got just the person. So Brandon, come on in. Brandon has spent some time working out before. And so he tells me uh, to bring it on, so I will. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start by just warming up a little bit, Brandon. Make sure your shoulders and so forth are all loose. So let's just do some arm circles real gentle. And so just like you're doing a backstroke in the pool, except we're going to be doing it through the air here. Just up and around and up and around real gentle. Up and around. Up and around. Okay, let's go back the other way now. It does get harder from here. I uh, kind of expect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and let's go backwards again. A lot of people have misconceptions about working out. They think they need to work out for hours in order to get a good strength workout, and that's not the case at all. Okay, back the other way. Brandon, there was a time in my life I used to work out seven days a week, four hours a day. I've even worked out with Arnold Schwarzenegger back in my early days. And I actually got much stronger doing my 15 minute workout three days a week than I ever did on that seven day a week, four hour a day routine. Wow. Okay. In fact, when I was 46 years old, I actually worked up to a 500 pound bench press doing just 15 minutes, three times a week. Amazing. And I still do that, although I'm a lot smaller now than I used to be. So anyhow, we're going to get into a good strength training program. We're going to start by doing push-ups. We're not going to just do typical push-ups. We're going to do what's called 10-second push-ups. When we go real slow, we actually recruit more muscle fiber with a more high-intense type uh, action. So let's get down in push-up position. <clears throat> and I'll count it out. And you're going to go down nice and slow. Ready? One, slow. Two, three, four, slower. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, now up slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going just a little bit fast. Down. One, slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, back down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, back up, one, two, slower, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, back down, the last one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, back up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. How'd those feel? Felt good. Could you feel your chest? Most definitely. Okay, now we're going to stretch the muscles out. It's always important. Put your hands behind your head and just bring your head up, drop your elbows back, and try and feel the stretch right in through the pecs, right there. Okay, now give yourself a good hug. Reach all the way around, grab hold of your shoulders, try and pull your shoulder blades out as much as you can. Okay, Brandon's done some heavy bench pressing in his day, but could you feel that in your chest pretty well still? Definitely. Okay, okay, let's do it again. Hands behind the head, 
Stretch the pecs one more time. Drop it back. When you stretch, you want to go for 15 to 20 seconds. You don't want to over stretch. You can cause a Golgi tendon response. It actually will restrict your motion. Want to feel the muscles stretch. It should be a comfortable thing. It's not like you're ready to tap out because you're about ready to, ready to go into contraction. Okay, go again across. And hold that. Okay, go ahead and rest. Now, since we don't have any weights, we're gonna have to use a towel, especially for a motion like your back training, okay? So I'm gonna have you grab the towel, face me, okay? Bend down a little bit, okay? So you're just gonna row, bend over at the waist a little more. Okay, row it into you. Row it in, okay, and then I'll bring it back out. Okay, row in. So with this, you're gonna need a partner, somebody who's willing to help you through it. So we're making sure that he comes back all the way, and then I'm pulling it back out. Actually, a lot of bodybuilders will do this in the warm-up room when they get ready to go on competition. And even though he's getting some work on that, I'm also getting a little workout pulling it back. Okay, pull. Good. Squat down a little bit more. Bend over, pull. Good. Pull, 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 pull. Gonna go three more. Pull, pull, one more time. Pull, good. All right. Now we're gonna stretch the latissimus muscles out. Arm up over the head. Grab your elbow and pull it across. So you're stretching right in through here. Looks good, okay, let's go the other direction now. Pull it over, okay, stretch through here. Brandon's got some good thick arms on him, so should be able to give him a good workout here. What do you do for work, Brandon? Well, I'm uh, the product marketing manager for 3ABN. Oh, okay, so you're kind of close to home here, huh? Yep. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some upright rows. So you're gonna turn and face me again. Okay, you're gonna grab palms over. I'm gonna kneel down here. Okay, row it up to your chin. Good. And up. And up. And up. And up. This is working on the trapezius muscles up around the neck. It's an excellent exercise for the upper back, especially for women who start to get a lot of upper back pain and get poor posture. This is an excellent exercise to help keep you standing upright. Doesn't take a lot of resistance to give somebody a training effect here. Starting to feel it? Yep. Okay, now we're gonna do some short ones at the top. Part way down, back up. Okay, go way up high, up high, part way down, back up. Up, 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 up. Five more. Good. All right. Feel those real good. Yeah, those are kind of fun. Okay. Now you're gonna face this way. And we're gonna do some manual lateral raises. So you can raise out to the side. Up, 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 up. Resist. Okay, up. Up. Now resist. Okay, come up. Hold it here at the top. Make me push you down. There you go. Now we're going. Okay, back up again. And hold. And back up. Up, 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 up. Hold it. And back up. Up, 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 up. Hold. Tight. Okay, and back up. Up, up, up. Hold. Right back up again. Up, 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 up. Hold it. And back up. Up, up, 
up, hold tight, back up. Come on, Brandon, go, push it, come on. Higher, higher, come on, higher, higher. Hold it now for 10 seconds, so let me push you. One, two, three, hold tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, how'd that feel? It felt good. Okay, you're gonna put one arm out, bring it across your body, reach up, and pull. So you wanna feel it stretching the delt. So it's your... very important, isn't it? Very much so. Part of muscle development is to make sure you keep your range of motion, your flexibility. Because a lot of lifters and trainers don't do that. And it starts to, they start to restrict their motion, which will restrict their gains. Okay, switch it around. I had a really good friend as a chiropractor back in Olympia, Washington, and he was, he'd always tell me, he goes, you wanna maximize your gains? Stretch. Open up those areas so you get good circulation. And it just makes sense. You get good blood flow throughout the body. And so stretching is very important. Okay? Now we're gonna do some bicep exercise. And so what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you take a palms up and I'm gonna get back in the same position. We're gonna do some curls. Okay. Okay, palms up. Both, get your other hand in here too. Okay, curl it up. Good. Very good. Now what we can do here to give him a little more emphasis of the workout. Okay, come just part way down, back up, back up, back up, now way down. Okay, up, now give me the shorts again. Slow, now all the way down, curl it, short ones, up, all the way down, and curl, go short, up, 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 all the way down, okay, up, back up, back up, back up, Hold that, hold for 10. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Get your biceps stimulated there? Yep. Okay. Amazing what you can do with a towel and just a little bit of help there. Okay, back on the floor. We're gonna do some push ups. We're gonna do them in a little different manner this time. Okay, this is a little bit like Simon says, I say it, you do it. Okay, so I want you to go down. And when I say up, you go up two inches. When I say down, you go down two inches. Ready, up, up, down, up, just two inches. Down, up, up, down, just two inches. Up, up, down, up, up, down, up, two inches, two inches. Down two inches, that's too, too much. Back up, go down just two inches. Okay, better, again like that. Two inches, good, now up two inches. Down two inches, down a little more. Up a little bit, just two inches. Down, down two inches, up two inches. <laughs> you can't do much more. Okay, hold it there for 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. In this world of cat and mouse, I'm the cat, you're the mouse. The mouse isn't supposed to die too soon. Right. You did great. So you feel those? Yes, sir. Now, obviously, you, you work out on a regular basis, and you, well, you have. I have. And so how did you feel with that upper body workout from what you do before? It's you pretty intense. It? Okay. Okay, so you definitely feel it. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna get into some leg workout. And so we're gonna do some lunges. And I want you to start with just a stationary lunge and I want you to do 10 on a side. Okay, so go ahead and step out with either leg, whichever one you want. Okay, down and up 10 times. Now it's important to keep the knee over the foot. 
So he's just lowering himself straight down. Those look excellent. Very good. Looks like you could do that all day. Okay, switch. Very good. And five more. Okay. Now that was easy enough, right? Okay. So what we're going to do this time is you're going to get into that lunge position again. But this time, I want you to jump up and then land back into your lunge. And we want to have you jump up five times, okay? So get back out on your right leg. Okay, this is more intense now. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, switch. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Okay, relax, okay? Now I want you to do those again, and this time I want you to try and jump a little bit harder, okay? Right leg out. Okay, up, 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 up. Okay, switch. Up, 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 up. Okay, now back to the first thing we did, right leg out. Okay, and just 10 lunges, down and up. Okay, and down and hold. Right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, for 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch, okay. And down, way down, three, four, five, six, seven, way down, eight, nine, ten. Okay, part way down, hold. One, two, chest up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Feel your legs? Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, what I'd like you to do is put your, your right hand on my shoulder. Go ahead and get a hold of your left ankle and you're gonna stretch the quadricep up like this. Okay, okay, there you go. Just like with the upper body, very important that we stretch the lower body out and you should be feeling that stretch right there in those quads that we just smoked up a little bit. <laughs> okay, you look like you got some good thick thighs, but you definitely felt that going through that. Oh, definitely. Okay. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is put your leg down. Now go ahead and put your left hand on my shoulder. Okay, and you can do this just against the wall, but I'm acting as the wall for him here. Feels good to stretch that after going through that. It's really a must. Right. And as you can see, if you do it right, okay, go ahead and put it down. To go through that again and again, you can see it just be overkill. Once you stimulate the fast glycotic fibers, the muscle fibers have both fast twitch and slow twitch fibers. They go from the slow oxidative to the fast oxidative to the fast oxidative glycotic and then fast glycotic. The fast glycotic are the biggest, strongest, laziest muscle fibers in the body. In fact, when people eat chicken or turkey, I, I don't, but, but if you take the breast meat, it's white because Turkeys and chickens don't fly other than just to short distance, but the legs are dark because they bounce around all the time. Now, if somebody were to eat a duck or a goose, instead of a white breast, they have dark because they have aerobic fibers in their chest because they do fly for a long period of time and the legs are more of the white fibers. So with us, we have dark fibers, aerobic fibers, we have white fibers, which are the anaerobic fibers. So when we do the high intensity workout, we're going after those fast glycotic fibers, the biggest, strongest, fastest contracting fibers in the body. But they're lazy. Right. They don't want to do anything. But once you get them stimulated, those are the ones that are going to give you all the progress. However, once you stimulate them, you've got to rest them. If you try and take it beyond that, it's not going to help you. Right. Okay? All it does is cut into your recovery time. All right, let's step out now with the left leg, go up on the heel, and then lean forward into it. 
Are you gonna stretch your hamstring? Bend your back leg a little bit more. There you go. So you can drop down into it, keep your chest up. Feel the stretch back there. Okay, now switch to the other side. Right leg out. Okay. Can you feel your hamstring? Yes. And while we were going through your workout, we de I definitely felt like we were getting you to a good fatigue point on your exercise, especially the last one of those triceps. We definitely hit it on that yeah, one. Yeah, I was surprised that, that uh, not using weights, you can feel the same thing if you do it right. Okay. Well, as you might have guessed, I've been doing this for a long time, so. Okay, now we're gonna do some little bit of core training, and so I'm gonna have you do a plank. Have you done a plank before? Uh -huh. Okay, oh, you're in for a treat. Uh <laughs> well, Brandon, at least I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna make it comfortable by getting you a mat. All right. Okay, we're gonna lay this down there, and you're gonna get down there like you're gonna do a push-up, but then you're gonna brace yourself on your elbows, and I want that back nice and flat. Okay. Okay, and up. Get your knees, no, you wanna get your knees off the ground. There we go, now you're there. Now when people do planks when they first start out, they usually go for like 20 or 30 seconds, but a fine specimen like you will go a little longer than that. <laughs> okay, so usually when somebody's been working out a little bit, a minute, a minute and a half, that's usually a good amount of time. So we'll at least get a minute there and see how we're, how we look from there. And this is a great exercise for your back. You're not shaking already, are you? Yeah. Okay, a little bit, all right, we'll keep that in mind, okay? And so it's great for your low back, it's great for your abdominal. In fact, you can forget about doing all the crunches and so forth, just get into some planking, it'll do you well. Let's bring your low back up just a little bit, there we go, oh yeah, I'm much happier now. Okay, <laughs> okay, hold it, hold it. And you're almost to your first minute. Okay, and you made your first minute. No, 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 oh, no, 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 not yet. You've been found worthy of doing a little bit more. See, body and spirit is very biblical. When you've been found faithful with little, more is added unto you. So you can say, praise the Lord, I've been found worthy. So we're gonna get to that minute and a half mark. So we've got 10 seconds to go. You're doing great, you're gonna make it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, go and come on up. Feel that? It doesn't feel too bad when you first get down there, but uh, after a while it can be a little bit tough. We have a man at our business in Rapid City, a used car salesman, and never really worked out much, 65 years old. He's doing an eight minute plank now. Whoa. So people can do some pretty amazing things if you just get on there and do a regular, regular routine with it, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do some trunk rotation. We're gonna turn to the left, turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the right, turn to the left, and back. I don't like side bends because I feel like they build up the sides too much and most people don't want a thicker waist. So we're trying to slim the waist and this is a good way of doing it. Of course, we can't magically spot reduce fat. It just has to come off systemically as people exercise. But stimulating the area around that will obviously tighten the muscles that we're targeting. Okay? Now another thing I wanna work on stretching out, especially for people who spend a lot of time lifting or have predominant upper bodies is we want to work the neck just a little bit. So we're gonna turn our neck side to side. Okay, and look the other way. And back to the left. And back to the right. And back to the left. And back to the right. And back to the left. And back again. And back to the left. Back to the right. Now we're gonna look up, look down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. 
And the final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna step back. Let's put the left foot back and we're gonna stretch the calf area. Bend your right knee. You should feel it stretch back there in your calf. Okay, and switch to the other side. Press the heel to the ground. Hold it steady. Okay, very good. All right, good job, Brandon. When it comes to strength training, both men and women can be greatly blessed by doing it, and all, of all ages as well. I've seen so many girls, young girls, in a, we were in a high school, and we had 12 girls that could all bench press 135 pounds or more. Because we take away the limitations, they can do so many more things. In fact, women are finding out they can be so much stronger than they ever thought possible if they just get in there and do some exercise. And strength training will not build up the large bulky muscles they think it's going to do. In fact, actually, it's a great way of streamlining their body down because it helps them to metabolize fat. For men, of course, they're usually interested in getting stronger. And the wonderful thing about strength training is you take a man who's in his 50s who thinks that, well, they're really starting to get past their prime. You get them working out again, and all of a sudden they feel this resilience of youth again. They're surprised at just how good working out can make them feel. You take somebody in their 70s or their 80s, by the time you're in your 70s, two-thirds of all women and one-third of all men can no longer put 10 pounds over their head. It's really sad because so many people are getting weaker and weaker as they get older. In fact, the number one sign you're getting old is you're getting weak. Well, all that can be reversed by some simple strength training. And I understand a lot of people don't want to go into gyms and get around the crowds and, and those who are getting really intense and going after it. And I don't blame them. I don't like that environment anymore either. But you can do this in the privacy of your own home by just having some persistence, starting out gentle. You don't have to go quite as intense as Brandon did today. We can back off on it. And there's plenty of body and spirit shows that will take you through a much gentler workout so you can work your way up. This workout is more intense. A lot of times people say, well, you can't get that type of workout at home on your own. Well, as Brandon found out, yes, you can. Even somebody who's spent a lot of time working out, and Brandon shared with me earlier that at one time he could bench press 340 pounds. And even still, getting down there and doing the push-ups like we did was a hard workout. But we want to do it for the right reason. We want to do it to glorify God with our body. Training to get stronger is a great thing, and it makes us feel good. But if it's all about just the strength training, then we're doing it for the wrong reason. We want to do it because we want to glorify God. Remember the scripture we use on body and spirit, which is Philippians 4.13, which states, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Thanks for joining us. God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Body and Spirit. <laughs>